So this is a uh, little certificate for a viral appreciation oh. and a key to the city. No so. kidding. I'm Pat. And I'm Ashley. Join us for a tour of a historic Mississippi city. Tupelo was first to buy power from TVA in 1934, so it was an honor to meet Mayor Jordan and receive keys to the city. Keys in hand, we were off to our next stop. So BJ, we're here at Caledonia. How does this plant help meet summer demand? Oh, we got uh, spring maintenance outages that uh, we go through and do all the maintenance upgrades and everything we need during the, during the outage to ensure that we're ready for the summertime. Summertime comes, we got three one-on-one -on -one combined cycles that uh, allow us to make about 800 megawatts to, uh, to supply the needs of the Tennessee Valley. I've never been to a natural gas plant. Can I see some of it? Can we go out yeah. take a I've little tour? I've never been either. Yeah, absolutely, we'll go take a tour. Oh, awesome, great. Uh, let's go, let's do it. Learning was the day's theme as our next stop was all about the Golden Triangle. Well, the Golden Triangle is a regional economic development group uh, representing three counties, Clay, Lowndes, and Octiba Hall. Uh, the three primary cities are West Point, Columbus, and Starkville, and we work to drive economic development in all of those counties. TVA's role in that is as a partner, being there, working with us, making sure that we've got power adequate to, to locate the projects that we locate. Partnerships are important, especially to our next stop, the Boys and Girls Club of North Mississippi. So Tony, tell us a little bit about what you all do here to set the kids up in the future. Well, we have several programs that help develop our youth into productive, caring, and responsible citizens. One of those particular programs is our Smart Move program. It teaches our youth um, how to avoid engaging in peer pressure to engage in risky behavior. Also teaches them those critical uh, thinking skills in addition to those analytical skill set as well. No trip would be complete without seeing Elvis Presley's birthplace. So Roy, what does having Elvis's birthplace here mean for the people in Tupelo? Well obviously it's a tremendous boost to the local economy. We have roughly 80,000 visitors a year. Wow. Oh. Tune in next week for another excellent adventure as we visit Memphis, Tennessee.